Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. This video will be about a topic that so many Android developers out there are simply not aware of that this concept exists. But if you're not aware of that, it can really break your app if you don't test your app based on this scenario that I will show you now. So I prepared a little app that simply lets us schedule an alarm in 10 seconds. So if we click this button, then we can minimize the app, take a look in our notifications, and after 10 seconds we will see a notification that our alarm was triggered. A moment and then you will be able to see there it is alarm triggered 10 seconds have passed and the way this works is simply with alarm manager i will leave out the details here that aren't relevant for this um, behavior you don't need to code along i really want to just uh, make the concept clear and what we really need to consider here so this is really the core code which we have twice here because of some um, api level differences but uh, this code is really it, it really does the same as this code just for different API levels. If we take a look at this, Alarm Manager is really just an Android system API, system service that lets us schedule alarms. So it lets us schedule specific functionality that we want to execute at a specific time. And that is what happens here. So we say, okay, we want to wake up the device when that alarm fires. When do we want to trigger it? Well, at the current time plus 10 seconds in this case. And what should actually happen when that alarm fires? Well, in this case, we want to notify a broadcast receiver. We can send an intent to that broadcast receiver also with uh, some information if you need that. And that's already the core functionality. Here in our alarm receiver, you can see we then just uh, construct our notification with our notification manager API and we display that. But what is now the topic that I mentioned so many people aren't aware of? That topic is called dose mode. Dose mode is a state your Android device is in when the device is idle. So that means that the screen is turned off and the device is not charging. Because the Android operating system in that case just has some battery management behavior that it just tries to optimize battery usage when your device is not actively being used. And that means that some of the Android APIs and system services might just be a bit limited. So for example, Work Manager considers dose mode that it might not execute specific workers if the device is idle, so certain things might be deferred to a later point, and they aren't just so reliable as you expect them to be. And that should really be the message of this video, that you should test your app for dose mode if you use such background behavior. Because it can very well be that your app behaves completely different if it's in the background that the device is idle than if you test it actively here in Android Studio. So how do we now do this? Because obviously it's quite hard to test our app if the device is idle because then we can't really do anything in our app. But luckily there is an easy way for us to test our app for dose mode and that is by using ADB. So the Android Debug Bridge, which is just a command line tool that lets us send commands to our device. So we can open this here by going to Terminal, and then I already prepared two commands here for you. On the one hand, this one, so adb shell, dump sys, device idle, force idle. This command, if you send this while you have a device connected, so either an emulator or real device as I have here, this will force dose mode on your device. So then dose mode will be active even if your device is not idle. So even if your device has screen turned on, is not connected to a charger. If we do this, you can see now forced into deep idle mode, and if we relaunch our app and take a look here, click schedule alarm, maybe minimize this, take a look here, wait 10 seconds, then you will notice that nothing really happens. Even though we used the set exact function to set an exact alarm, it doesn't really trigger here in dose mode. And now imagine you would build an alarm app and your alarm simply wouldn't even fire if the device is idle, so if the screen is turned off and not connected to a charger, which I would say is a very common thing if a user sets an alarm. If they if they just put their phone away, screen turn off, they start sleeping, but your alarm doesn't trigger in the morning, that will lead to quite some frustrated users. But you as a developer will never know that there is this issue if you never tested your app for dose mode. So what can we do in this scenario now? Well, in the case of Alarm Manager, it also has a special function which um, considers dose mode, so which ignores it kind of for very important alarms, which I would consider an alarm clock app. So here you could say set exact and allow while idle. So that will basically do the same, but also trigger during dose mode. So here you say, hey, this if the user sets an alarm here, then this should definitely always trigger. If we use this function, relaunch our device, which is still in dose mode, then, uh, since we didn't change it back with ADB. If we now click schedule alarm, minimize this, and we could even turn the screen off, wait a little moment, and after 10 seconds, if we open this again, then we will see 
okay, our alarm actually triggered. So even when our device uh, had the screen turned off, so now our app is behaving correctly. But if you never test your app during doze mode, then you can't know if it is behaving correctly. But that's still a very, very common scenario where users might be in or the devices of your users. And so many developers, first of all, don't know that this exists and then also don't test their app against dose mode. Because it's, of course, a good thing that Android tries to minimize battery usage. Uh, but if it's very crucial for your app to still work during low battery mode or during an idle device mode, then you also need to program it that way. And if you just used set exact, and that behaved just fine in your IDE when you used your emulator, when you used your own device, then that still doesn't mean that it will work fine in all scenarios as you just saw. Well, and how do we now remove dose mode again? So right now, Android would be in a permanent dose mode state on our device. Well, luckily there's also an ADB command, which is this. So we yeah, basically just use the same command, just uh, writing unforce at the end and then our device is not in dose mode anymore. Well, and if this is a thing you weren't aware of before, then guess how many things you aren't aware of that I show in my more advanced Android premium courses, which you can all find down below. First link in this video's description. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. I will see you back in the next video. Have an amazing rest of your week. Bye-bye.